Sunday afternoon game means lots of kids in attendance, including the Clarington Minor Lacrosse paperweight teams on hand to help the Green Gales kick this game off against the Gloucester Griffins. Once the full-size players take over, the Green Gales off to a quick start. Jeremy McWaters leading the way with a pair of power play goals within the first four minutes for a 2-0 lead. Griffins get one back before Ethan Schott sets up Johnny Eau Claire. 3-1 now. Gloucester will tie the game on back-to-back -back goals by Mitchell Robertson. This one on power play. The attempt goes behind Liam Wynn and trickles in and then... Robertson out in front, turns and fires, tie game. Green Gales with a five-minute power play. Not sure if this was a pass attempt by Ben Gagne, but it does not work out well. Adam Turner airmails it to Tyler Stinson. Easy as that for three. Late in the period, the Griffins handed a penalty shot. Officials say the man coming off the bench interfered with the play. Nick Finley will handle the duties, and he scores past Joel Watson now in goal for the Green Gales, and the game is tied at four apiece after the first period, but that's where the fun for Gloucester ends. Watson denies Finley on a break with the arm, and then it does well to stop the ball from going in on the rebound. Power play now, Cam Garland pulls the trigger, and they've got the lead back, and they're not gonna give it up again. McWater's on a hat trick now as he muscles in past a pair of defenders. He would score and finish with a game high seven points. Tyler Stinson's going to spin away into space here. Feeds Jeff Fernandez, and it's in the net in the blink of an eye. Jeremy McWater is going back to work. Unloads, stopped by Gagne, but Andrew Johnson is there to clean it up. 9-4 now for the Green Gales. The Griffins will cut the lead in half late in the second. Cambador gets in on the scoreboard 10-5. They've got a chance to get even closer, but denied by Watson. Third period, Ben Pitchforth looks like he's going to get sandwiched here, but pulls up just in time, and a pair of Griffins collide with one another. Tanner Cook will join the goal-scoring party here. Zips a shot, goes right through Tristan's staff, now in goal for Gloucester. Cam Garland decides he's going to try his luck from distance as well. Bingo, goal number three on the night for him. 13-6 would be your final after the Griffins added one late. 10-0 to start the season for the Green Gales, and while unbeaten the regular season means nothing, they're not afraid to talk about the goose egg in the loss column. It's nice to see 20-0 on the record for sure, but the reality is all that matters is what, what happens come playoff time, and we're not going to be satisfied until, we're, uh, until we're, we've gone all the way. Um, and right now we're taking one game at a time. We, we have an ultimate goal in mind, but uh, we're just going to take it one step, one step at a time. I mean, it'd be great to do it, but we're, we're going to go for it, obviously. Why not? You want to win every single game, and so let's go for it. That's what I say.